Hello and welcome to another top 10 here on my channel. Today we are going to look at my top 10 most anticipated games of 2019. So yeah, let's just jump right into it and start with number 10. Kingdom Hearts 3. Kingdom Hearts 3 just seems fun because it uses the Disney characters and me uh, combine it with Square Enix characters. It just, just looks great, it looks fun. I just, I, you just want to play it, essentially. Number 9. Catherine Full Body. I never played the arena of Catherine, but when they announced this, I just wanted to play it. Hopefully it will be released this year in the West, because it will, of course, be released in Asia or Japan first. That is usually what happens with Japanese games, but hopefully it will be released in the West this year, and I will play it and hopefully have fun. Number 8, Days Gone. Many people seem to hate on this game and I can maybe see why but overall I am excited for it because well <laughs> hard to say. I'm just excited for it because of the interesting characters that you use as you follow. This is a baker. You usually don't see that in games, I believe at least. At least the ones I played. You follow him in a world essentially full of zombie like creatures. They, are, they don't say call it zombies, but let's face it, it is basically zombies. And I think. If it feels a little bit like The Last of Us or, or similar to that and are just open world, I'm going to love it. So that is why I'm excited for it. So yeah. Number 7, Gears 5. I don't really know if this game will be released next year, but Gears 5, I'm excited for it. Even though I was disappointed in Gears of War 4 because you really couldn't follow the storyline if you haven't played the previous games because they throw things at your face that you didn't really have knowledge of if you haven't played the previous games or read something or something similar to that. Gears 5, Gears 5 just looks fun and hopefully it is better than Gears of War 4. So yeah, hopefully. Number 6, Control. What I understand is Feels, looks and seems films similar to Quantum Break, which were a fun and interesting game in my opinion, and because of that I'm really excited for Control essentially. Just like that. Number 5. Luigi's Mansion 3. I only played the first Luigi's Mansion, which was fun and interesting and was just... Well, it was highly interesting to this when you essentially try to find the ghost and caught them or try to catch them inside of your vacuum, vacuum cleaner while I'm sluttering. I never played the second one but I'm going to play Luigi Mansion 3 whenever it, I can essentially, so yeah. Number 4, Fire Emblem Free Houses. What I've seen, it looks really interesting in some Interesting. It seems like a type of strategy game essentially, but I never played off played off Fire Emblem game, so this will be the first one, so hopefully it's good. I'm really excited for it at least, so yeah. Number three Dun Dragon Quest Builders 2. I really love the first Dragon Quest Builders. It was fun, it was it's it essentially a Minecraft but with more RPG. Well Minecraft RPG essentially it is. And this one just seems to that they have added a lot of more content and it just looks phenomenal and interesting and I'm really looking forward to it. Hopefully it will be released in the West this year, so yeah. Number two, Judgment. From the creator of Yakuza series, they they have no uh, Sort of new IP spin-off essentially called Judgment, which essentially is, well, what can we call it? It is similar to Yakuza games, but with more of a 
detective kind of work or gameplay in it. And I'm really looking forward to it because I really love the Rakisa games. And this seems to be in the similar fashion, so yeah. And of course, number one are going to be the Pokemon game for Switch. Or next gen Pokemon game, essentially. This year they released Let's, the Let's Go Pokemon games, which very interesting for the most part. But this is supposed to be a proper new line or new entry in this series of series of franchise. So really looking forward to it. Hopefully it is good and looks beautiful. So yeah. That's all for today folks. This was a little bit weird one, but yeah. We'll see you next time.